Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Adima. Today I'm going to be doing a summoning video on Luchi. But before that guys, if you have Instagram and you want to follow me, check me out. Forgiven underscore relief. This is my page. Uh, that emote is Candyland's emote. I like it a lot, so I just use it as a profile picture for now. I'll eventually change it to the Corazon picture once I put that picture to my phone. But for now, this is my page. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, feel free to do so. I'll just do some updates like my teams that I'm using. Uh, some medals that I finished upgrading, some videos that I'm making, things like that. So if you guys want to follow, feel free to. And yeah, let's get into the vid. Alright, so yeah, we're back and we're going to be summoning for Luchi, guys. So unfortunately, yesterday was a challenge battle that ended and I got to 75k. I told myself I'll grind the last uh, 25k when I came back. But I went out and unfortunately I came back really late and I didn't feel like playing when I was back. So yeah, unfortunately I didn't get all the rewards from that, but that's fine. Today, we're going to be summoning for Luchi. So, we're going to do the three multis, and then we're going to uh, review him and show some gameplay. So, the unfortunate part is that they're bringing back this three-step thing with no guarantee in the second step, and it's it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate, really. Like, at least give us a random guarantee in the second step. And it's also unfortunate that it's not the four or five step thing we had before, because we're not guaranteed two characters. So, it's like unfortunate. See, here I would have gotten anything. Some random character, it would have helped me instead of getting nothing. So definitely, pff, fucking sucks, man. But hey, uh, yeah, let's let's. I guess we literally got the, nothing. Like that's literally the minimum we could have gotten, and, and that sucks because doing 130 uh, or 120 diamonds for this, uh, pretty shitty. But anyways, this Luchi looks really really cool. I was hoping I'd get one copy. His run is weird, but he runs like that in the anime. So yeah. Uh, I like the bird. This art, I like it a lot. I know other people like Garp don't like it, but I do a lot. I love this. Um, so yeah, this move, a close range, uh, multiple hit attack, inflicts stun on enemies while they're sustaining damage and acquires speed debuff effect at level 5. So you'll make them run slower for uh, 20 seconds and you're going to deal a lot of damage. So it's like, it's like, do 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 type of thing. I mean, that's Nice, 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 cool. Uh, at least you'll stun them while they're dealing damage because if not, they could just dodge that and that sucks. Uh, so yeah, that's that's something. And here, move, move towards uh, enemies at long range and attacks. Damage dealt will disregard the enemy defense stats and nullify sacrifice at period of time. So it doesn't deal that much damage, but it ignores defense and 44 seconds. And it's like, doof, and he becomes his leopard. In his, he actually becomes the leopard. And it's nice, it's nice, it's nice. It's, I like it. Yeah. Anyways, character traits. When receiving damage from an enemy, 5% chance to boost speed by 20%. That's not bad. That's not bad. No no problem with that. That's an extra character trait, so why not? For 20 seconds, that, that's not too bad. Uh, when they are around your enemy's treasure, increase damage dealt by 30%. For attackers, that's beautiful. When dealing damage to an enemy, 100% chance to increase crit by 15%. Increases up to 500%, but resets once KO'd? When... Every time you deal damage to an enemy, you increase your crit by 50. Wow, so 10 hits, that's 150, 20 hits. I mean, you're almost never going to get to 500, but how many hits does this skill do? Uh, does it say? 13 hits. So just from that, you get 160% crit. That skill's so much better now. Whoa. All right, when your strength is more than 80, resist stagger effect. Uh, okay, look, I've come to an agreement. I don't necessarily like this because once you get hit, the fact that you could just keep taking hits, it's not, it's not, it's not the best in my opinion. But you know, some people like it, and plus, it could have its benefits. But it could also mean that you'll just get k killed like hard. So yeah, that's that's unfortunate, but that's also something that you have to keep into account. It has its advantages and disadvantages. I don't like that they're putting it on everyone, but it's who knows. When crit occurs, reduce the cooldown time of skill two by ten percent and recover HP by five percent. That's not bad because um, uh, this is a longer sk skill. Uh, this one is how short? This is twenty five seconds, so you could reduce that to twenty seconds with the with the medals. That's really good. It's really good. So let's check him out in survival 100 and then uh, we'll do some um, we'll review his medal and the uh, new event medals. So let's check it out. So this summoning sucked. Man, these summonings have been really poo poo. 
the uh, the summonings on these banners, Barto, Cavendish, this one. Like, I want one where I get two copies. Like, it sucks. Like, that I, I, I can't at least have the option. Like, it makes these characters even worse, especially after Bounty Fest came out. Like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> All right. So he has a long, 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 long skill animation. So let's see how far this goes. Boom! Why, dude? <laughs> That's so nice. All right, let's see. That's his first hit. It's just like a dash forward. But it has some range to it. That's nice. So it has some range. And then his second hit is... Another thing. It has a lot of range. Kind of reminds me of Bond Clay's playstyle. All right, third hit. And that's the fourth hit, then the fifth hit. So it's a five hit combo. Tooth. One, two. That's nice. I like his uh, thing. One, two, three, four, five. Nice, nice, nice. And as we can see down there above his HP, that's his crit going up. <laughs> that's so cool. To test out how much crit he's actually getting, if he's getting crits off, what we could do. Oh, his dodge is also cool. It's like a teleportation thing. It's kind of slow though. Boom, bitch! I love this skill so much. Holy shit. And he looks so cool in his leopard form. Maybe we'll get a full leopard Luchi one day. You know, I didn't think they would do that because for Marco, they kind of didn't make him transform to a full phoenix. Uh, so, yeah. But this doesn't have nullify stagger, unfortunately. So it's going to get you hit. But... In general, cool character. Uh, definitely can't wait to try him out one day. Uh, but unfortunately, that day is not going to come anytime soon. Because in my running, I still have uh, I still have these characters running. And it's going to take me time to get them to level 80. So once they're at level 80, I can put Luchi in. So I know here people put Bounty Fast characters. But I don't care. You know, I don't want to commit so long to getting a character. I just want these characters to level 80. Anyways, I don't really like using Bounty Fast characters. They're, you know, they're really used. And I want to be kind of different than that. So that's that. Anyways, let's check out uh, the medals. So, craft. Um, da -da 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 -da. Luchi. When crit occurs, reduce skill down of skill 2. That's so good for him. That's so good. And he has a tag. This medal is perfect for Luchi. Yeah, this this medal is so good for Luchi. Holy shit. Alright, let's check out the medals. When crit occurs, recover HP by 3. This is also made for Luchi. And it has attack. That's really good. And this one, when they're under enemy's treasure, increase damage. That's really good for Luchi as well. But it doesn't have attack. So, it has HP, defense, and crit. But it's not a bad skill to have. Let's see the tags. Why? That's a lot of tags for free for an event one. So skill one. Capture speed. Dodge. But who has these things? Okay, Paramecia everyone has. Intelligence agent. That's just them. Walter 7. That's just them as well, right? Oh, Frankie also. So if you care about this medal. <laughs> so if you have this medal, it's kind of finally come to use. Cypher Pole is just them, and Six Powers is just them. So you won't have much to combo it with, but uh, CP9 Campaign 1, so maybe CP9 Campaign 2. I was hoping we'd get Khalifa, because, like, you know, she'd be a babe, but I think we're gonna get Kaku since we got Khalifa's medal. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys are hyped for Kaku, then I know I know Roman Cam is gonna be hyped for, Ka uh, for Kaku, so if he comes out, I think he might summon. So keep an eye on Roman Puss. And yeah, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed and peace.